As we have already discussed, the media has a huge role to play within the commercialization of sport. The media can have both positive and negative effects on sport. In terms of positive effects, the media raises awareness of sport. For example, the more sport that is shown on TV, the more people are going to be aware of sport. This may also mean that people are more likely to participate in sport, leading to many health benefits. The media can also make sports more popular and fashionable. Cricket is a sport that was once stereotyped as slow or boring. However, the media has made cricket more exciting in recent years. For example, during 2020 cricket, TV pundits will use exciting analysis tools to promote the sport. The media also introduces new supporters to sport. During the Olympic Games, sport is everywhere you look, on TV, on social media and in the newspapers. Suddenly we are watching sports that we would not usually watch, such as volleyball, handball or water polo. This exposure and interest in new sports is all down to the media. There are also many negative effects that the media can have on sport. The media showcases negative values and behaviour in sport. This is particularly applicable in football as players often swear or argue with the referee. Children who adu adults who see this type of behaviour on the TV are then more likely to repeat it when playing football themselves. The media also dictates event or match schedules and timings. Premier League managers often complain about the schedule of fixtures. The TV companies choose which matches they want to show at a particular time and this can mean that teams only get a short period of rest in between their matches. This can result in more injuries and also poorer performances. The media also reinforces inequalities in sport. For example, if men's rugby is shown more often on TV than women's rugby, then this is reinforcing the negative stereotype that rugby is for men. As with the media, when it comes to sponsorship, again, there are both positive and negative effects on sport. In terms of positives, sponsorship can increase the income of performers. In sports such as athletics, prize money can be hard to come by, meaning that sponsorship money is essential for athletes to continue their training without the need to work. Sponsorship can also mean that more money is put into grassroots sport. Grassroots means the lower level of sport. For example, Premier League football teams gain huge amounts of money through sponsorship. They then put some of this money into community football, such as facilities for children. This can increase the participate, participation amongst children. In terms of negative effects, sponsors can place difficult demands upon performers. For example, a footwear sponsor might ask a runner to take part in a regular photo shoot. This will have a negative impact on a runner's training schedule. Performers can also feel under pressure to win and this can lead to cheating or deviance. Cyclists are put under huge pressure by their sponsors and may feel like their only option is to take performance enhancing drugs in order to increase their chances of winning. This is cheating and it can also have negative side effects for performers. Certain sponsors can also bring a negative image to sport. For example, fast food or alcohol companies often sponsor sport. Many people disagree with this because they're unhealthy products that are associated with sport and therefore fans may be put off from watching or even participating in sport. Make sure you can give examples of both the positive effects of the media and sponsorship on sport and the negative effects. This is a question that often pops up on the exam paper.